In this video, we will get you through the whole installation process to getting started with User Meta Pro. First of all, let's start with the installation process. At first, sign up your account with User Meta Pro. Then from your account, you can see a downloads option. Click downloads and you will find all the versions of User Meta Pro. Check out our latest version and download the zip file. Go to plugins, add new from admin panel. Then, click upload. After that, locate the User Meta Pro zip file and click install now. Plugin will start uploading. After complete uploading, Click Active Plugin button. For license validation, go to User Meta Settings. Then put your email and password in the User Meta Pro Account Information section. After that, click Validate button. It will validate your license and unlock all Pro features. This way, you can install and validate User Meta Pro. Next, let's break down the login page settings. At first, go to User Meta. Settings. Then, Login Menu. This menu contains all the login settings. Login Page section, lets you select your page of choice to log in. Click the Create button. It will automatically create a login page with shortcode, user meta login. You can disable the default login option if you check the checkbox. Login form section has three different options. The first one, disable lost password feature will let you enable or disable the feature to recover a forgotten password. If enabled you'll see a link under your login form. The second option, similarly controls whether a registration link will show to login form or not. The third one will disable Ajax Submit. Without Ajax your page will reload after you hit the Submit button. User Login by Section, specify by which method the user can log in. You have the option to force a user to use email or username or both. In Reset Password Page section, you can automatically create a Reset Password page by simply clicking the Create Page button. This page will be redirected to when user want to retrieve or reset their password. To learn more about it, we have a video on Reset Password. Please check the link in the description below. After the login settings, let's set up our registration page. At first, go to User Meta Settings. Then Registration menu. To set up a registration page, you need to create a registration form and a page. At first, I am going to create a registration form. Then go to Page option from the menu. I am creating a new page. Naming it as Registration. One thing that I need to mention is that page should contain a shortcode like user meta registration form equals your created form name. After that, go back to the registration section from settings. Now, you can set your registration page in the user registration page section. In the user activation section, there are four options. First option is user auto activation. If you select the option user will be activated automatically after registration. Second option is, need email verification. If you select the option, a verification link will be sent to user email and the user must verify the link to activate their account. I am creating a new user registration. After registration, check email notifications. In email, you will find an email verification link. Click the link and activate your account. 
Next option is, need admin approval. If you select the option, you need to wait for admin approval after registration. And the last option is, need both email verification and admin approval. Here, a verification link will be sent to user email. User must verify the link to activate their account and an admin needs to approve the account. Make sure to click save changes every time you change any options. This way, you can configure your registration settings. Thank you for watching. If you need extra fields in backend profile, then follow the steps. Go to user meta, shared fields and create any field that you want to put into the backend profile. I am going to create a drop-down field. So, I am taking the drop-down from basic fields. For example, I want to make the drop-down for language, that's why I am naming the field label as language. You can see that the meta key for the field is automatically created. Write down the options for the drop-down field. L is for label of the option. Add more options with plus button. And to delete existing option use minus. You can set a default value by clicking the circle, beside your preferred option, so the field will have the value even if it is ignored. If you tick the advanced mode, you can classify your options by different groups. Create your groups by naming them and place them with drag and drop procedure. Tick the required field if you want the field must be filled. There is also an advanced option, if you want to learn more about it, please check the link in the video description. After configuring the basic fields, click Save Changes. After that, go to Settings, Backend Profile. Down in the Extra Fields in Backend Profile section, you can see your created field in the Available Fields. All you need is to drag from Available Fields block to Backend Profile block. Next, save the changes. And then from the menu bar go to Users, Profile. You can see that your created fields appeared there. This way you can customize your user's backend profile page as your business requires. Now, let's go to the email notification settings and customize your email body. Go to User Meta, Email Notifications. Here you can see different actions for sending email to users or admins. If you open any panel, you can see different roles. You can customize and set different email notification with different name or subject based on user's role according to your preference. You can change from name and from email. That means every email sent from your site can be customized with a particular name and email. Leave blank if you wish to use default. You also have the option to change email format to plain text or HTML. Use placeholder to include any extra fields data to email. There is a placeholder menu in the left side. You can use the placeholder to customize the email body. Site placeholder represents site title and other pages URL. User placeholder represents user's information. Use the placeholder to see the user's information in the email. Custom field can be added with your custom user meta key. Use the placeholder to add custom fields data to email subject or body. This way, you can customize your email notification. After the email settings, want to import users via CSV file? At first, go to user meta, export and import. Next, go to the user import section. Here you can upload CSV files only. Note that, first row of CSV file will be treated as field's name, and fields will be separated by comma and enclosed with double quotation.
Click Upload and select your desired CSV file. A user import box will appear in your screen like below. Select and customize what you need to import. You can choose Identify uniquely by email, username or by both options. Now, assign your CSV fields to WordPress fields. You can also edit MetaKey for custom field. You can also change user role if you wish. If you want to overwrite your existing users, check the overwrite existing users. Check the send email to new user, to notify them by sending email respectively. Check add custom field to shared fields, if they are not already added. When you are done, click import, and your new users will be imported. To see your imported user, go to users section from menu, and here you will find new imported users. This way, you can add new users simply by our import user feature. Then, if you want to export your WordPress users, go to user meta, export and import. Then, scroll down to user export section. Here you will find a user export default form. Drag and drop your fields from available fields to export section, which fields you want to export. You can also drag back your fields if you don't want to export it. You can add fully new fields to your CSV file. Type your field name and click Add New. There is a button named Drag All Fields. You can click the button if you want to export all the available fields. Next, if you don't want to export all the users, then, check the specific roles from Exclude Roles checkbox. You can also filter users according to their registration date. You need to input start date and end date to do so. You can even change your user's order by selecting Order by and Order drop down options. When all things are ready, click Save Only button to save the form. It won't produce any file. If you click Export Only, it will produce a file with user's data but no form will be saved. And if you click Save and Export, it will do both. To make another user export template, click New User Export Template. You can also remove it by clicking Remove button. This way, you can export users so easily by Export User feature. Along with these, there are free add-ons included in the Pro version to serve specific needs. Some are to integrate with popular platforms and some to extend usability or gain more control. First, add-on user list is for displaying users. Activate it by toggling and then click the options button. In the first tab front-end setup, you can select a page with the given shortcode to show the public profile informations. Second tab is for shortcode guide. You can use the shortcodes in your website. The last tab is for including or excluding any fields from the the user list table. Second is WooCommerce. Here you can add personal information in WC Profile tab. You can also add fields in the registration form in the WC registration. In the WC checkout, you can customize your WooCommerce checkout page. Next, if you want to translate plugins text, simply active the WPML integration. From the BuddyPress X Profile Export add-on, you can export BuddyPress data with UMP Export tool. You can even control the functions by enabling or disabling to avoid any plugin confliction from the Switch Filter or Action Hooks add-on. Override default WordPress emails gives you the option to override default emails with user Meta Pro generated emails. By activating the personalized default user Meta forms, you can personalize your login, lost password and reset passwords label, heading, placeholder and so on.
Most important add-on is restrict content. Enable the checkbox to display the form when login is needed to access. You can also edit the notifications. Finally, if you activate the author box add-on, you can customize your author box information and the style of the box according to your want. If you want to know details of the add-ons, there are videos of them. The link will be given in the description. Hope that this video will be helpful for the overview of the user Meta Pro plugin. Thank you for watching.